The matter has finally come to an end, but we mustn't lower our guard. Increase patrols around Chingsa Village and coordinate our people at other fireworks locations to prevent any further theft. Yes, Lady Kuching. And by the way, the Ministry has requested the Millilith to increase security along travel routes. How is that proceeding? It's all been taken care of. However, due to various reasons, there are still some blind spots in the city. Have we drafted a new patrol map? Please, give me a copy and I'll look it over when I have time. Understood. The patrol map is still being drafted, but it will be ready soon. Okay. Also, I... Oh, excuse me, Lady Kuching? Your friends are here. Hi, Kuching! Still working? Aren't we going to see the fireworks? Oh, yes. But I thought we'd meet at the Jade Chamber. Why have you come here? Yeah! We walked around the city just like you told us to. It's very nice. But it would be even nicer if you could join us. Do you still have work to do? It's nothing urgent, really. Just some trivial matters. But I wish to get it done as soon as possible. You can leave it to us, Lady Kuching. You've been working hard for a long time, so you should get some rest. If I'm not mistaken, the Traveler is here to remind you to take a break. That's right! Something so important that we must speak with you personally, right now! Oh, really? In that case... Jingcheng, I'll let you take charge. Thank you. Understood. I'll handle things from here. <sighs> Traveler and Paimon, let's go to the Jade Chamber. The view there is nicer and it's much more private. Perfect for talking. Well, here we are. What was it you wanted to talk about? Yeah, we want to tell you a story from this beautiful view. What do you say? All right, I'm listening. So it turns out we just heard some big news in Tevat. A very talented chef is in trouble. Oh, is the chef from Liyue? From Liuli Pavilion or Shinua Kiosk, perhaps? No, no, uh, the chef is from Mondstadt, yeah, and he's really, really good. He had a restaurant right next to the city gate. He was super efficient, and his cooking was really delicious, so his restaurant had been getting more and more popular. In fact, he became so busy that the worker from the florist next door asked him, Sir, why don't you find someone to help you in the restaurant? But the chef brushed the idea aside, saying that he's the only one that can turn top quality ingredients into world-class dishes. No one could help him. Hmm. Well, confidence is an essential trait for a good chef. He must be an excellent cook. That's what everyone was saying. But surprisingly, after just six months, no one would dine in his restaurant anymore. Hmm? Shocking, right? Do you have any guess why? Hmm. Maybe the chef had fallen ill, or... Eh! Wrong answer! You tell her, traveler! Ding, ding, ding! Yep! It's because the chef was too stubborn. He would keep himself busy every day and try to make the most delicious dishes for all his guests. But he forgot that he's only human and needs time to eat and rest. He was so busy that he didn't even have time to eat and couldn't even taste his own cooking. He was unwilling to seek help, even when he's tired, because he thought he's the only one capable of cooking the best dishes. Eventually, the people around him felt like they couldn't help him anyway, so they just left. And because he had forgotten the original taste of his dishes, he was no longer a good chef. In the end, his restaurant had no choice but to close for good. Uh, oh. I see. He's overly confident, which disappoints the people around him, and he's so impatient that he ends up losing sight of his original purpose. <sighs> 
So... that's the whole story? Oh! Um... Yep, that's the whole thing! Hey! Didn't you just say that Paima made a great story? Hmm? Huh. Hmm? Did you come up with that story? Oh! Uh, no! We just... Uh... <laughs> hmm... How should I describe it? The story is very simple, and I suppose the ending isn't really surprising. Think before you act and don't overexert yourself. Of course, I understand these concepts in theory, but... When tasks come to me personally, it is easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. Yes. Up in the mountains, we can see the mist in the clouds. Out in the ocean, we can see fog on the sea. That's why, from time to time, we need to examine where we are, remove the fog, and feel our heart. So, how do you feel now, Kuching? How do I feel? Hmm... Deep down inside, I wish I could slow down time. That way, I could finally take the opportunity to walk around the city, see the people I wish to see, and watch the fireworks. Thinking back, I used to be even more impatient. My colleagues would resign after just three months of working with me. You're completely right. It's important to know your boundaries. Uh, but I am getting better. You can tell, can't you? And... I did make a promise with you, didn't I? We agreed to enjoy the fireworks show together this year. So... Happy Lantern Rite, Traveler and Paimon. I'm very happy to be here and enjoy this moment together with you. I've poured all my best effort into this fireworks show. And now that we're here, I sincerely hope you will enjoy it. I feel very fortunate to be right here, enjoying the fireworks, and enjoying the view of Liyue Harbor. Happy Lantern Rite. <laughs> Happy Lantern Rite. And... Thank you. here for a moment. Don't go anywhere. Huh? Must be something important. Ningguang had her personal tailor make it for me. Said it's an imported style. Well, do you like it? Wow! It's beautiful! <laughs> it's time. Traveler, please enjoy the grand finale of this year's Lantern Rite. The fireworks show. Check you out. Looking pretty fancy. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. Seems I've struck gold with this one.
just like a pig. So it does. Better way to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Baiju, sorry to trouble you again this year. <laughs> no trouble at all. Lantern, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Happy <laughs> Lantern, <laughs> right? What did you think of this year's fireworks display? I just hope this festival can be everything that people want it to be. Really? I hope you're not just saying that to reassure me. I want you to be straight with me if you have any suggestions. <clears throat> anyway, if you have any time during the festival, take a look around the city. There's a lot to see, but it won't last, so make the most of it. <sighs> if only I had a little more free time. I'd love to take you around and show you everything we did to make the city look special during the festival. <laughs> 